guys thanks for visiting my channel today I know it's been a while since I've made a video but I do have a good excuse my baby girl graduated from high school this year so we were busy with all the end of the year stuff and then we had obviously a, a party for her and we had family and friends come in town and so um, I've been really busy and it's been a busy and emotional time for me so anyway we're all getting back into the groove and i'm getting into my new normal which will be um my husband and i will be empty nesters because both our babies will be at college come august so anyway that's the reason why i haven't made a video just lots of crazy things going on but we're getting back into the groove so today i thought i would bring you along as i make one of my fav family's favorites which is creamed corn it is so great in the summertime because we are going to use fresh corn to make it so what i'm going to do is bring you in close so you can see what i'm doing and uh, we'll get started okay the first thing you want to do is obviously husk your corn and get rid of the silks, which I've done and I've already started the first part of our process here. So the next thing we want to do is we want to remove the kernels from the corn. And some people use a butt pan for doing this, but I have found that a large casserole dish with a small bowl flipped upside down inside of it works really well to set your corn on. Um, you want to have um, a nice sharp knife and then I'll show you how to remove the rest of the pulp and the milk from the corn with the back of, or with a spoon. So the first thing you're going to do is just go top to bottom, gently cut down and remove your kernels. And this is kind of a messy proposition, but it's so, so worth it. Get all that off. And then what you wanna do is you wanna take a spoon. I found a spoon works the best for this. Some people use a knife um, or the back of a knife, but I found the spoon works the best for me. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go from top to bottom and you're going to press to remove the rest of the pulp and the milk from the corn. See all that yummy goodness that's still there? We want all of that in our creamed corn. So we'll just go top to bottom, all the way around. And then what I do is I flip the cob around and I do it the opposite way, just to make sure that I get it all, or as much of it as possible. Now I'm sure there are gadgets out there that do all this and maybe it's easier, but this is the good old fashioned way and I'm not really a gadget girl. So I just do it the good old fashioned way. But anyway, see all that goodness that was still on the cob? We want that in our corn. So we got all of our corn off the cob. I'm gonna wipe my hands off here. Then what we're gonna do is we're going to um, get our corn into a pan. A little bit there you go now you can use a skillet here if you prefer I like a saucepan just get rid of the bowl and then we're gonna put all of our corn into our pan And yes, this is messy. And my babies are waiting <laughs> for me to drop something for them. And I obliged them. So anyway, just get your corn in there. Wipe off my hands again. And then to that, we are going to add the creamy part. We are going to take one cup of heavy whipping cream and to that we're going to add a quarter cup of cold water 
And then we're gonna make a little cornstarch slurry because I wanna add um, some body to my creamed corn. So we're gonna add about a tablespoon and a half or so of cornstarch. We're also going to add, I know we've used sweet corn and the corn already has some sweetness to it, but the sh adding a little bit of sugar really helps to bring out that sweet flavor. So I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of sugar. And then we're just gonna dissolve the cornstarch in the milk and water with the sugar. You want to make your, sure your cornstarch is dissolved. And then we're going to pour that in our corn. And I'm going to add a tablespoon of butter. And some salt and pepper. I'm using my pink Himalayan salt and some fresh ground black pepper. You can leave the pepper out if you don't like pepper in your corn but I like the pepper flavor. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on our stove to a medium low heat, and we're going to heat all that up and we're going to let it simmer for about 30 minutes. And once it starts simmering, I'll bring you back. Okay guys, it's been about 10, 15 minutes since I started my corn and I just wanted to bring you in and show you how I've got a nice gentle simmer going on here. You don't wanna boil it, you run the risk of scorching your cream and we don't want that. So just see how it's just gently bubbling that's what you're looking for and that's what you want to do for about 30 minutes. The other thing I wanted to mention was you do want to stir frequently because you don't want your cream to scorch. Um, so like every five minutes or so, just give it a good stir, um, making sure you're touching the bottom of your pan or your skillet. And yeah, just let it go um, until everything is thickened up and your corn is nice and tender and everything's nice and creamy. So when we get there, I will bring you back. Okay guys, welcome back. Our corn has cooked for closer to 45 minutes than 30. Um, the 30 minutes is really just a guideline. Um, just cook it until it is as done as you like it. Um, it. That's entirely up to you. You could even cook it up to an hour if you want it really soft and tender. I like mine to have, still have a little bit of a bite to it. Um, so anyway, just want to show you how nice and creamy it is. Hopefully it'll show up on the screen. See how it's nice and creamy and it will thicken up um, more as it sits. Um, I gave it a good taste. You can, um, so good. It's got a really nice sweetness to it. It still has a little bit of a crunch to it, like you would be familiar with with corn on the cob. Um, like I said, that's entirely up to you um, what texture you want. A um, couple things I wanted to mention. I used six ears of corn, but my ears of corn were pretty big. So it just depends on the size of your ears of corn, how many, this recipe you could do six to eight, depending on the size. Like I said, I did use six. Um, Add-ins. This is a great vegetable where you can, um, or side dish where you can add some things in if you wanna jazz it up a little bit or um, just change things up. I have added, um, Got fresh garlic and onion before. Just make sure you saute it before you start to simmer. Um, another great one is chives. You would add those at the end. Gives it a really pretty green color uh, throughout your creamed corn. Any herb you could toss in. If you like fresh herbs, you could toss those in at the very end. Um, bacon crumbles are great. If you want to give it a nice southern taste in the background you could use a teaspoon or two of bacon grease instead of the butter so 
lot of great ways to jazz up your cream corn, but it is so easy and so much better than anything you could get in a can. So no more canned cream corn, super simple. Um, anyone can do it, just throw it all in your pot and just let it simmer until it's to the consistency that you like. So anyway, I appreciate you coming along with me today and your patience. Uh, like I said, they had a little a bit of a hiatus there between videos, but we're getting back into the groove. And um, I appreciate you stopping by today. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of the fun. And um, I hope you'll join me for another great video. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.